Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, today uh, we will teach all of you uh, chapter 9, uh, Accounting for Non-Current Asset. Okay. Accounting for non-current asset or uh, depreciation expenses. Okay, what we will learn for this chapter. Okay, this is the learning outcome. Okay, after studying this chapter, all of you should be able to explain the concept of revenue expenditure. Okay, revenue expenditure. Revenue expenditure and capital expenditure. Okay. Next. Explain the concept of the concept and causes of depreciation. Okay. Explain the concept and the causes of depreciation. Okay. Causes of depreciation, and then the third one explain the concept of original cost. Okay, scrap or residual value, useful life, accumulated depreciation, and net asset value and net asset value. Okay, and calculate and record the depreciation expenses. This is very important. And calculate and record. Calculate and record depreciation expenses by straight line method, a reducing balance method. Okay, only two method that we will cover for your syllabus. Okay, but you have to know we we not only have two method to calculating the depreciation, we also have unit cost production method. Okay, next. Okay, for introduction, all business need not only current but also non-current asset okay or what we call uh, previously uh, as fixed asset okay what is the example of fixed asset or non-current asset okay for example machine buildings okay uh, office equipment okay so the, the reduction of the value of non-current asset the reduction of the value of non-current asset or the portion the cost is used up is called depreciation. Okay, it must be taken into account when we prepare our financial statement. Okay, the value of non-current asset if uh, will depreciate, okay, will depreciate over the time. So this is we call depreciation. What is the nature of non-current asset and why are the they depreciated in in the accounts. Kenapa dia bes, uh, apa ni? menyusut atau kenapa dia berkurangan? Okay, itu pun kita akan cover. And how is depreciation record? That in the books account and presented in the financial statement. Okay. Okay, this is the definition revenue expenditure and capital expenditure you have to understand carefully what is the difference between the revenue expenditure and capital expenditure okay let's uh, let's continue okay business expenditure revenue expenditure and also capital expenditure we go for the revenue expenditure first Okay, what is the revenue expenditure? Re expenditure on items that contributes the revenue earning capacity. That contribute the revenue earning capacities. Okay, this is the revenue expenditure of a business and its expense of immediately to match the revenues of the same accounting period. Okay, for example, uh, revenue expenditure is rent expenses. Okay, rent expenses, okay, belanja sewa, itu adalah contoh revenue expenditure. Why? Sebab kita akan uh, expense off, kita akan recordkan dia sebagai belanja, okay, immediately, bila rent expenses tu berlaku. Okay, pada waktu, dan kita akan matchkan dengan all the 
all the revenues yang kita dapat pada accounting period tersebut. Okay. At the end of accounting period, is deducted for revenue to determine the profit. Okay, ni dalam statement of comprehensive income lah. Okay, dalam statement of comprehensive income, all the expenditure tu, revenue expenditure, kita akan tolak kan, will, will deducted from the revenue to determine the profit value. Okay, uh, kalau expenses tu melebihi, kalau pro, uh, revenue melebihi nilai, expenses kita akan dapat profit lah. Tapi kalau uh, revenue kurang daripada nilai expenses, kita akan dapat loss. Okay. So, next. Example, okay. This is example of revenue expenditure. We have salary, we have wages, we have rental. Like I said before, rental expenses, we have utility bills, we have advertising expenses. Okay. All of these expenses. <coughs> okay, next. Okay, revenue items are deal with the statement of profit or loss and comprehensive income. Okay, splochi, eh? Splochi. Next. Okay. What is capital expenditure? Okay, uh, previously we already learned about revenue expenditure. Okay, we will appear in splochi. But now, what is capital expenditure? What is capital expenditure? Okay. What is capital expenditure? Capital expenditure on items. Expenditure on items that contribute to the revenue earning capacity of a business. Okay. Contribute to the revenue earning capacity of a business. But the items are expected to contribute to contribute for more than one accounting period. Okay, uh, contribute for more than one accounting period. Okay, uh, different with the revenue expenditure before this, they only contribute for one accounting period. But now capital expenditure, they will contribute, this expense will contribute for the revenue earning capacity for more than one accounting period. This is the first major difference. Eh? Next. Amount to be paid, acquired to, or extend useful life of non-current asset to reduce non-current liability. Okay. Uh, so, amount yang kita bayar untuk extend useful life of non-current asset or to reduce non-current liabilities. Okay. Capital items are dealt with the statement of financial position. Ni akan masuk soft P. Okay, the previously cap, uh, revenue expenditure will be appear in flow G. Okay, basis idea of depreciation. Three main accounting concept from the basis calculating and recording depreciation. Okay, the first one is going, cons, going concern concept. Okay, it's related to the depreciation. Historical cost concept. Okay, and the matching concept. Okay, why going going concern concept? Because we uh, we assume that our business will going uh, will going the continuous operate. Okay, for, uh, for uncertain period. Okay, uh, pada tempoh yang kita pun tak tahu sampai bila. Okay, maksudnya berterusan akan beroperasi. That's why kita akan assume dia akan memberikan contohnya capital expenditure tadi dia akan memberikan a continuous uh, revenue earning capacity for more than one accounting period. Sebab kita tak assume dia akan berhenti, dia akan stop dalam beberapa jangka masa. Uh, so, dia akan continuous memberikan manfaat kepada uh, business pada uh, tempoh masa yang kita pun tak tahu sampai bila. Sebab kita nak open a business based on going concern concept. Okay. The third, second one, historical cost concept. Uh, historical concept ni uh, what in this concept that we have to record all the cost of asset cost of acquiring of asset on the historical price on the purchases price okay and the matching concept why related to this depreciation because we have to match between the revenue and expenses on one accounting period in each accounting period for this accounting period we have to match expenses and revenue. For next year accounting period, we have to match revenue and expenses. That's why we have to calculate depreciation expenses. Okay. 
So this is the causes of depreciation. The first one is physical deterioration, economic factor, time factor, and also depletion. Okay. Consideration must given to the following three factors to determine the rate of depreciation. Okay, how to determine the rate of depreciation? We have to consider these three factors. The first one, cost of the non-current asset itself. Okay, the first one is uh, cost of the non-current asset. Okay, what is the total of non-current asset? Okay, the total of acquisition cost. Bringing to asset its current location and condition. Okay. Next, the useful economic life. Okay. Expected useful life. That's the asset will generate the profit for the company. How long the uh, asset can be used. Okay. Uh, this is the useful life. Next, the estimated residual value or scrap value, disposal value at the end of the asset useful life. Okay. Estimated residual value or scrap value or disposal value. Okay, for example, we purchase one machine. Okay, expected useful life is five years. Okay, so after five years, uh, we can't we uh, the machine is cannot be useful to generate the profit anymore. Then we have to sell off. Okay, we we have to dispose the machine. So how how much the value for dispose the machine? Okay, uh, maybe uh, we sell the machine and then we get. Uh, 500. So 500 is the scrap value of the machine or residual value of the machine. Okay, this is an example of um, residual value or scrap value. Okay, next, the most common depreciation methods are straight line method. Okay, straight line method is very easy. Okay, why very easy? Because uh, the same uh, amount eh, every year will be charge on the depreciation uh, ni. the amount of the depreciation the amount of the depreciation charge in the each period is the same same amount for example uh, this year 200 for so next year also 200 okay until the five years for example the five years is a full life okay five years each year 200 200 200 200 okay until five years okay this is red limited Next, reducing balance method. Okay, reducing balance method based on the carrying value. Okay, now it's based on the carrying value. How to calculate the carrying value? I will teach you later. Okay, but is this is uh, based on the carrying value? Okay, the asset at the beginning of the financial period, the amount of depreciated charge every period gradually. So the amount of depreciation is not same every year. The first year. The amount will be bigger and the second year will be lesser and lesser and lesser. Okay. So the first year, for example, 500. The second year, uh, 450. The third year, 400. Uh, so they reduce time by time. Okay. Year by year. Okay. Unit and unit of production method. But unit and production method is not covered in our sleep. Okay. Okay, basis of providing depreciation. There are two main bases. There are two main base. Okay, base asas. Eh? Asas base of calculating depreciation. Either basis they adalah yearly basis or monthly basis. Okay, uh, what the difference between the yearly basis and monthly basis? Yearly basis, if we purchase a machine, um, for example, if we uh, purchase a machine 1st January 2020. So, uh, yearly basis, when we apply yearly basis, means that we, we, we have to allocate the depreciation for machine for one year. Okay, for one year because yearly basis. Either we purchase in the early of the year or uh, intermediate of the year or half of the year or quarter of the year okay, or end of the year, we 
we we still charge in yearly basis means that we still charge one year depreciation uh, this is yearly basis but how how about monthly basis monthly basis is based on how uh, how many months that we 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 push, uh, we hold that asset okay we hold that asset or the asset uh, that we use for the company for generating the profit or the sales okay for example we purchase um for example we purchase office equipment or of a uh, machine photostat photostat machine okay we purchase first uh, first december first december 2020 okay until 31st december 2020 okay only one month related and only one month okay related for calculating the depreciation of this uh, photostat machine because we use monthly basis okay uh, kalau beli sebulan saja maksudnya we have to calculate sebulan saja kalau beli dua bulan dua bulan saja okay that's monthly basis okay next Okay, I already explained to you before, for yearly basis, we ignore the dates. We ignore the dates during the year when the asset will bought or sold. We merely calculate the full period. Uh, this is the keyword for yearly basis. Full period depreciation on the asset in the use of at, in the, use at the end of the, of the period. Okay, this is yearly basis. For monthly basis, okay. As I also uh, yearly basis again, as, as I show during the accounting period, we'll have had no provision for depreciation in respective of how many months they are in use. Okay. As I about during the period, we'll have a full period depreciation calculated even though there are many uh we have been used throughout the whole period. Okay, this is for yearly basis. Tak kira lah you bila-bila, tetap dikira setahun, penuh. But monthly basis is month-to-month -month basis. Okay, ha, kalau you beli bulan 2 sampai bulan 12, ada 10 bulan, ah 10 bulan dah. So, how to calculate the fraction of month? The fraction of month is usually ignored by, uh, how, uh, however, some may consider is one month's ownership if they have possessed the asset for more than equal of 15 days. Okay, equal to 15 days. Means that you have to calculate how many days that you hold the asset. Okay, is it equal to 15 days or more than 15 days? Okay, is equal to one month. Okay, for example, you, you believe pada 15 hari bulan 1, kira lah. Daripada 15 January until 31st January, how many days incurred? How many days involved? Okay, if equal to 15 or more than 15, uh, is considered for one month ownership. It's considered for one month ownership. If you hold the asset for more than or equal to 15 days. Alright. Okay. This is the books of accounting recording depreciation, debited and credited. Okay, journal entry. Okay, debit depreciation expenses and credit accumulated depreciation expenses. And then we debit splochi and credit depreciation expenses for transfer the depreciation expenses to splochi. That's one I will uh, explain in details for calculation part for uh, in the next session dealing with more than one type of non current asset for example we have uh, plant and machinery features and fitting and motor vehicles then three set of non current asset accounts depreciation so B3 also depreciation for plant and machinery, depreciation for features and fitting, and also depreciation for motor vehicle. 